Welcome to section 8.3. So far in this chapter, we've looked at exponential functions. Now we're going to introduce something called logarithmic functions and logarithms, which are actually the inverse of exponential functions. So we're going to do a quick review of inverses. But let's just jump right in. If we look at this first piece here, it says the inverse of f of x equals 3 to the x is, okay, so that's something we're going to find. If we remember back to first semester, finding inverses. First thing we did is we replaced that f of x with y. Then we flipped x and y. Then we solve for y. Here's where we're going to run into an issue. We don't know how to solve this for y. How do we get rid of that power on y? We can't take a y-th root. We can't switch x and y. So at this point, we're stuck. Stuck. That's where logarithms come in. That's where logarithms come in. A logarithmic function is an inverse of an exponential function. So the inverse of that f of x equals 3 to the x is actually written as y equals log base 3 of x. Well, what does that mean? That's exactly the same as this equation over here. Those two are the same, I just solved for y. Okay, so I know that's a little confusing. It's a different way to write our equation. Different way to write our equation. The variable y, so in the next line, the variable y is called the logarithm of x. So then written as we already talked about before, this was our inverse we were trying to find. So instead of writing x equals 3 to the y, that's the same as writing y equals log base 3 of x. Okay, so on the left, that's called exponential form. On the right, is called log form. So this is exponential. And this is log form. So we need to be able to go in between the two. We need to be able to transfer from exponential form to log form and log to exponential. Here's how we're going to remember that. Okay, this is uh, not my favorite way to remember it, and I'm a little embarrassed to use this, log, this uh, acronym, but I think it's going to help some of you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as log base 3 of x equals y. Here's what you got to remember. You got to remember the acronym BAE. BAE. Okay. B stands for base. A stands for argument. Or sometimes I remember it like answer. And E stands for exponent. That acronym BAE should help us transfer from log form to exponential form. So what we take then, or what we do, the base is 3, our exponent is y, and our argument, or our answer, is x. So that's transferring from log form to exponential form, which if you can see is exactly what we had to begin with. So that's the first thing we ought to be able to do today, is transfer between those two forms. So we're going to do a little bit of practice with that, and then see where that gets us. Example number one, it says, write each equation in exponential form. Okay, so we're going to write down that acronym. Remember, I have the base, the argument, and the exponent. My base is 2, my exponent is 3, and then my argument, or my answer, is 8. So these two, what we have right here, and what we have right here, are the same equation, just different forms. Same equation, just different forms. Looking at the next one, we have base, argument, exponent. So my base is 4, my exponent is negative 4, and my answer, or my argument, is 1 over 256. So this is my answer. Again, I just took the equation and wrote it in a different form.
Okay, looking at examples three and four. This time we're going backwards. We're in exponential form. We need to write in log form. So we're going to have log of our base, so 15. Remember, this is the general form we're following. Log of base argument is equal to exponent. Okay, so then our argument, or our answer, is that 3,375, and we set it equal to our exponent of 3. So trying that example 4, 4 is our base, 1 half is our exponent, 2 is our argument, or our answer. So we have log base 4, the argument is 2, is equal to 1 half. That's the first skill that you're going to need to know from this section, is transforming between exponential and logarithmic forms. So again, two different ways of writing the same equation. We're going to take that a step further by evaluating. So that's an example number five. Evaluate log base 16 of 4. Okay, what that evaluating means, log base 16 of 4 is equal to some number. And so what I'm asking you is, what is that number? So let's set it equal to x which is what we're looking for. That equation is equal to some number x. We need to solve for x. Okay, logs, new to us, we're not very comfortable with them. So oftentimes your best option is gonna be to switch forms, switch to exponential. So that's what we're gonna do. We have a base of 16, an argument of four, and an exponent of x. So switching forms, we get 16 to the x, is equal to 4. And now this is an exponential equation that we solved at the very beginning of the chapter. If you remember, we try to get both sides in terms of the same base. Well, 16 I can write as 4 squared. So I get 4 squared to the x is equal to 4 to the first. On the left side, those powers are going to multiply. So I get 4 to the 2x is equal to 4 to the first. Now that my bases are the same, I have a 4 and a 4, I can set the exponents equal. So I get 2x equals 1. I'm solving for x though, so my x is equal to 1 half. Okay, I'm going to be a little picky here on your notation. If we notice, x was not in the original problem. We put x in. So it doesn't really make sense to say x equals 1 half. Instead, just circle 1 half as your answer. Again, we put x in the problem, x wasn't there, so don't leave x in your answer. So what does that 1 half mean? It means this, this log base 16 of 4 is equal to 1 half. That log base 16 of 4 has a value of 1 half. Okay. So you have a few examples to try. What I want you to do right now is pause the video and try all three of these examples on your own, please. Give all three a try and come back when you're ready to go over them. Okay, let's see how we did. For this first one, we should have set it equal to x. So we have base argument exponent we get 3 to the x equals 81. We know that 81 is 3 to the fourth. Now that our bases are the same, and only because they're the same, we should get x equals 4. Again, though, we put the x in. Don't circle the x in your answer, just 4. Or you could have written your answer as log base 3 of 81 is equal to 4. For the second one, we should have had 1 half to the x is equal to 256. Okay, this one's a little trickier. You actually have to rewrite both sides. Okay, 1 half. How can we rewrite that? Well, 1 half is really 2 to the negative 1. 256 is 2 to some number. And you should be able to finish that one out. I will let you know you should get an answer of negative 8. Third problem, we're going to go over in class. 
So make sure when you turn these notes in, you have that third one done, that you've at least attempted it, and we will go over it in class. If you have any questions, please make sure you write them down so you can ask in class, or you can come to office hours or email me.